Hey guys, it's Jade and welcome back to a, another video on my channel. So as you guys can probably already tell by the title, this is going to be a really, really exciting video. I haven't done an unboxing video on my channel in a while and I know that you guys love tech unboxings. Um, so today's video is going to be an unboxing of the brand new 2020 MacBook Pro 13 inch. I am the hugest Apple fangirl. You guys know this. All of my tech products are Apple. We've unboxed so many different products on my channel, like the computer behind me, and iPads, and Apple Watches, and phones, and AirPods, and all sorts of stuff like that. But we have yet to unbox one of the MacBooks, so I am super, super excited for this video. I'm gonna keep this intro pretty quick for you guys, but if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe down below, as well as give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, and hopefully the comment section is enabled, um, but if it is, make sure to leave me a comment down below. I love reading your comments, um, as well as leave me some video requests. If you want to see any other videos on the MacBook Pro 2020 edition, let me know in the comment section down below. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for the intro. Let's hop right on in to the video. So I got the 13-inch MacBook Pro in the brand new 2020 model that came out a couple weeks ago. Um, I actually got this in the silver color. Um, I was thinking about space gray. I really like the space gray but then my phone is silver my computer is silver everything that I have Apple pretty much is silver except for my iPad is the like rose gold color so I thought I would just stay on trend and get the silver and I definitely like the silver too but either one is great I just picked silver. I took a long time to explain that. I will go more into the specs of this computer as well as what they updated compared to um, the version before this computer at the end of the video, um, but I thought I would start off with the unboxing. The so last thing I just want to point out because I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about this, um, my parents did purchase this for me as a graduation gift as well as kind of just a going to college gift type of thing because obviously I'm going to need a computer to be able to go to college with and I don't currently have a laptop that I'll be able to take to class. Um, so thank you so, so much to them for that. But you guys know every other Apple product that I have, my iMac, iPad, AirPods, everything, I have always purchased with my own money. Um, I obviously have a job as well as I do this. So, um, but they did purchase this for me. I wanted to be transparent, wanted to just throw it out there. So I am very, very thankful for this. All right, you guys, I am just absolutely way too excited to get into this. Um, so let's just start the unboxing. So obviously, like one of the most satisfying things is that it does have the plastic film on it and there is this little tab here. So we are going to start um, by just pulling this tab down and I'll be quiet so that you guys can hear it because I know it's really satisfying. If I didn't mention this already, I did get the base model of the new 2020 MacBook Pro, so that does come in at $129.99, um, but I did get the education discount, so I got $100 off, so I did pay $1,199. Wow, that really took me a second to process. So this is kind of what the outside of the box looks like, very similar to all Apple products, the very just sleek white design. I'm literally like in shock right now. So right on top, it does come with the silver MacBook and I really actually do love that I got this color. And so we're going to pull this pull tab out and I know I hate it too, but we are going to set this aside and I'm gonna go through what is in the rest of the box and then we'll come back to uh, the main event in just a second. So in the bottom of the box, obviously first off, it comes with the charger cord. As you guys know, the new MacBooks, I think actually the last generation of MacBooks was like this too. They are charged by USB-C, um, which is frustrating in some ways because it does limit the amount of ports you have. Like you have to put in a million and one different dongles to get things to connect to it. Um, but it does obviously make it really sleek. And I do think that more technology in the future is going to be moving to USB-C rather than normal USBs or the lightning cable or anything like that. Then we have this little pull tab right here. In this little box, it says designed by Apple in California. We just have the quick start guide and instructions, which I literally never read. And then we actually get some silver Apple stickers, which I think is pretty cool. I literally never use the Apple stickers, but you know what? Maybe one day I will. And then behind the information packet, we do have the big wall adapter for the charger. And this again has the really satisfying plastic packaging on it. So we will open this up. 
Now it is time to take the plastic off of the MacBook Pro. Oh my gosh, this is really lightweight and really thin, which I, I knew that they were pretty thin because I obviously, honestly, here's the tea. I go to Best Buy all the time just to play with <laughs> the new Apple computers that I know I can't buy um, just because it's fun for me. So I did obviously know what this looked like before I got it, but it is just so cool once you actually have one in your hands. So I'm going to come up close so that you guys can get the full unboxing experience. Oh my gosh, this is literally the best part. Here we go, guys. And while I'm up close, I will give you guys the first look inside of the MacBook. So, da 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 da. This is what she looks like. Okay, so it is already turning on. I am literally so excited about this. So while this kind of gets started and gets ready to be set up, I will actually walk you guys through a couple specs that I think that you should know and I think are important about um, the MacBook and I will show you some things on this when I get to it. So like I said, I did get the base model of the new MacBook Pros just because I won't be doing a lot of video editing and photo editing on this. This will mainly just B for schoolwork because I need to keep this computer running as fast as possible um, because it is obviously for college. And I do have, as you guys can see back there, um, an iMac that I am planning on taking with me to college. It is a couple years old. I do have the unboxing up on my channel. So if you guys wanna watch that, I think it's a 2018 version. And that is what I do all of my video editing on. That's what I have final cut on. So I did not feel like I needed to spend several hundred extra dollars to get faster processors and more storage when I just don't need that. I got the 1.4 gigahertz quad core processor with turbo boost up to 3.9 gigahertz. Um, it does come with 256 gigabytes of storage, which that is an update that Apple did bring to the new 13 inch 2020 MacBook Pros is that they come with more storage. Like the base model comes with more storage than other base models have in the past. This MacBook does come with touch bar and touch ID, which we did see in the last model of the MacBook Pro, um, but they did still have the option to not have the touch bar. Like I think the most upgraded version had the touch bar on it, but now even the base model has the touch bar, which I think is really fun. This has an eighth generation Intel Core i5 processor, which is very good, very fast. This is pretty much, I believe, the same processor that it had um, in previous models. Models. It has turbo boost up to 3.9 gigahertz, Intel Iris plus graphics 645, which are really great. And I am pretty sure that is what they had in the last version of MacBook Pro. If not in the last version of MacBook Pro, they did bring that to the MacBook Air this year. It has 256 gigabytes of SSD storage, like I already told you guys. Um, it has a 13 inch retina display with True Tone, which I love Apple's retina displays. I know they came out with them with a couple years ago, but they are just now starting to put them in their a little bit more affordable options, which I appreciate. Now, one of the huge like cosmetic updates, physical updates, to the MacBook because pretty much the component of the computer is the same as the ones in years, years previous, but they did switch from the butterfly keyboard to the magic keyboard, which thank God. All right, you guys, so that is pretty much everything for the MacBook Pro 2020. That is my unboxing and obviously initial review as well as the specs and different things that I think that is important for you guys to know. Overall, obviously I haven't even set it up yet, but Form factor wise, absolutely loving the computer. And from what I've learned about it and the updates that Apple made, I definitely think that even though people are kind of hating on the 2020 version for not like having some big dramatic change to it, I think that they made the updates that they needed to make. The MacBook Pros were obviously already great computers, um, but they changed the keyboard, which desperately needed to be changed, as well as some internal things. And I think that they did what they needed to do. And I also appreciate that they didn't bump up the price tag. If anything, you're getting more for your money. Um, because in previous models, you wouldn't have been able to get 256 gigabytes of storage at the base model level. Um, so I'm very appreciative of that. And I think that Apple is taking steps in the right direction to make their products a little bit more affordable to the average consumer. Again, I just wanted to say that I am so, so thankful to be able to have the opportunity to unbox and review something as nice as this on my channel. Um, and if you want to see more videos with it, like I want to do a how I'm going to customize my uh, MacBook Pro because I have learned some fun tips and tricks recently on how to customize Macs that I've been doing on my big iMac. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if that's something you'd like to see. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up as well as leave in the comment section down below, like I've already mentioned, other videos you guys wanna see with this guy, um, as well as other tech videos you just wanna see in general. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below. I would love for you to become a part of our family. We do fun 
fun, exciting videos like this every Wednesday and Sunday. You guys are the best. When I do unboxings and things like this, it just feels so surreal because I feel so beyond blessed to be able to have this platform that provides me with not only money to be able to have nice things like this, but just a community to be able to share the excitement with. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at jade underscore binword, as well as on Poshmark. My links are in the description box down below if you ever want to shop any of my old clothes. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.